Hey, I'm Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me here for another video today. Um, today's video is kind of a kind of like an artist diary. Um, it's all about a trip that I did to Prague recently. It was the second time that I've been back to Prague since moving out here to the countryside and uh, I really enjoyed the trip. It was really nice. Um, I just, yeah, this video you'll kind of see all the things that I did. There's a lot of painting in this video. There's a lot of nature. There's some city scenes. And there's also a thrift store haul at the end of the video because while I was in Prague, I went to a couple of thrift stores. I really love shopping in thrift stores. Firstly, because you never know what you're gonna find. It's always like a bit of a lucky dip. And secondly, because it's really nice to like, I don't know, I think, we consume so much in this world that it's good to like reuse things and um, thrift stores kind of like provide items with that second life you know so you can buy it used and um, it just kind of it means that it's something that's not just going to be thrown away it can actually be like repurposed so I found a bunch of art stuff so that's kind of what I'll show you at the end of the video is um, those things that I found in the thrift store and um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe i'm really really grateful for all the subscribers and for everyone who's watching my videos i really do appreciate you and i'm so glad to share this little taste of nature with you right now and also um what i saw in prague when i visited so yeah thanks and enjoy the video peace so Tuesday was my first full day in the city. I traveled there on Monday by train and on Tuesday I kind of had a slow start to the day. The first thing I did was I went over to Stromovka which is a really big beautiful park in Prague and one of my favorite places. I really missed visiting this park because I used to spend a lot of time there. I enjoyed walking around it and seeing all the swans and the ducks and just all the like nature around is really really beautiful. And just before I went to this park, there's also a thrift store in this area. So I visited the thrift store. And as I said, there'll be a thrift store hall at the end. So you can see what all I found. Really enjoyed walking around there and just um, having a look. The weather on this day was kind of crazy. It actually changed from um, the sun was out for one second, then it was raining for a bit, it would even hail a tiny bit, I had to take shelter at, there's a planetarium at this um, park, so I took shelter there for like a few minutes, and then luckily the sun came out again, it was just a really big roller coaster of weather during this day, but I really enjoyed being in this area and just um, seeing everything that I saw. There were these beautiful willow trees there. And later in this video, I'm going to be painting one of them. What's really cool about this park is there is um, a whole bunch of different areas to look at. There's a chateau on the hill and these beautiful lakes and everything's been kind of redone over the years. So it's really nice to just take a big walk around. After this park, I made my way across the city to Namisti Miru, which is also called the Square of Peace. There's this beautiful statue there. It's one of my favorite statues in Prague. And I had a look there quickly and then I walked on and around this neighborhood um, and found a bunch of different things to see. There's a lot of really cool architecture um, around the whole of Prague. So as you can see here, these beautiful houses, I just really, really like how each one is so um, interesting next to each other and these different aspects to it. Um, so I really enjoyed just having kind of a walk around all these old suburbs that I used to live in and visited. 
Wednesday was kind of a chill day. I actually just went to see a movie. The movie was Uncharted, the one with Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland. It was a lot of fun. And then I just took a walk around the city, um, Old Town and that area. On Thursday, I decided to actually just stay in and I was really wanting to do some paintings. So I decided to do a painting of the statue that I really like. It's a statue by Yiji Christofek, um, the girl with the dove. And I painted it using watercolors and it was just kind of nice to spend the day just painting and kind of taking it slowly. Luckily, the sun was shining a little bit that day, so it was nice to see that. My friend had these beautiful flowers, um, these tulips. I decided to also do a painting of the tulips and um, just some other house plants, and it was just really nice to create this painting as well as the one of Namaste Muro. On Friday, nature was calling me again, so I decided to visit Kunratitskiles, which is a huge forest area out by the Rostli metro, and I um, just took a really nice walk around the forest there, beautiful views and trees and birds. So I am today walking in the forest. This is actually, um, I just kind of stumbled across it, but it's the same spot where I filmed my very first video for this YouTube channel so it's really nice to be back and um, obviously it's winter time now um, so the landscape's a bit different but um, <laughs> it's a beautiful little spot <laughs> I think that was the view behind me that I um, painted <laughs> but yeah nice to just have these little moments <laughs>
So Saturday was kind of a day where I saw some friends and um, was mostly just hanging out with them. And then um, me and the friend that I was staying with, we played some Scrabble in the evening and just kind of had a really nice um, kind of chilled day. Um, so on Sunday, I was also kind of just feeling like the weather was so up and down this whole week. So it was actually pretty cold outside and I just like didn't really feel like doing anything. I think like being back in the city was just kind of overwhelming me a bit. So I found myself just wanting to kind of um, relax and paint and not really like do too much in the actual city. So um, I ended up painting one of the willow trees that I had seen at Stromovka at the park on Tuesday. And um, this is just really nice to sit and paint again. And like I said, art just really for me, um, that's what I re re would recommend really for anyone going through anything to just try to do some art, try to be creative in any way, because it really does help. On Monday, I headed to the train station um, to catch the train back. It was a really nice ride in the train, a lot of time to think about things. I was in the carriage by myself, so since it was a Monday, so it was quite quiet. And I read my book and just um, processed everything that was happening and, yeah, headed back home. Okay, so let's do a thrift store haul. So this was kind of... Um, one of the art finds that I found, which was pretty cool. It was only 20 crowns, so that's like really, really good price. And it's Faber Castell, which are pretty good watercolors. And the pack is in really good condition. So this is one thrift store find. I think maybe this person only used these once. <laughs> so yeah, that's the first thing. So that's pretty cool. Watercolors. Then we have a mystery pack of pencils, which this will either be really good or <laughs> they'll be really bad. <laughs> I have no idea. So it's sealed shut with like tape, so I couldn't really open it. But um, it was only 19 crowns, which is like really, really low, low price. So that was the second art find. Then this next one I'm really, really excited about. So I found this book that somebody created. It's like a handmade book. You can see it's been like bound with um, string and it was only 30 crowns. And all the pages, it's got this cute little cover, <laughs> all the pages are like this really interesting, like sort of like watercolor paper. So I thought this could be like a really nice, um, it's also got quite, some of them are thick pages and some of them are thin, so that's a thin page. And this one's a little bit thicker, but anyway, I just want to show you the inside. Um... So yeah, someone bound it themselves. So this really looks like a handmade um, journal of some kind. So I thought, wow, that's kind of a cool find. I'm excited to like use these pages and turn this into something. And then it's got this little like thing that you can tie here somehow. I don't know. But yeah, I thought that was kind of a cool find. Like, so it's almost like a sketchbook or a journal that I could use. And then the other art things were, I found this, which was, was it? Oh, it's also 20 crowns. And it's, this is really nice stencil for if you do like bullet journaling. And I thought also inside um, my art journals, I can kind of use some of these shapes. I thought that was really cool. And then the other one was this, which is another stencil. And like, I don't even think this was opened. It was also just 20 crowns. So also a really low price. And yeah, 
I like the size of these letters because it's not too big but it's also not too small so I think this could be quite nice for art journaling um, yeah so that's that then the other thing I found was this um, this was only 10 crowns it's a whole pack of this paper and you can see it's got this cool like um, grain on it I really like the um, pattern on this paper so I thought that could be really cool for like some backgrounds in the art journal um, yeah I don't know it's cool I'll figure out and it looks kind of like old almost so I like that it's like a sort of vintagey look then the last art thing that I found in the thrift store is this card making um, set so it comes with like this book which is really cool shows you like how to create all these little interesting cards and things um, the author is Anne Akers Johnson and then inside this part here it comes with a whole bunch of interesting things so it's got a um, this has got like measurements on it um, so this is to help you like measure and fold when you're folding the cards. It also came with a whole bunch of colored paper, some with patterns. I thought that was really cool. Some of them are used, but some of them are still in good condition. All sorts of little bits of colored paper. And then the thing that I really was excited about was these stencils so it has all these like cool little stencils that you can use to like help fold envelopes and all sorts of different things it's hard to show you but i am going to be creating a video where i use these art materials um, to create a couple of different things so yeah this was the really exciting part about this was like all these interesting little stencil things i think that was really cool Anyway, so, uh, not too sure what you use this for, but there must be some explanation about it. But yeah, it had like all these parts and everything was in like really good condition, so I thought that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I like that it has this book as well, so it's like, I think that would be really useful. Like sometimes in art journals it's quite nice to create a little, um you know like pop-up envelopes or things you can like put things in like stuff like this could be really nice in, in an art journal so yeah I thought that was a cool little find and then these are not really like art related but I might use them for some art projects I have some ideas but I found a whole bunch of National Geographic's so that's really cool i'm really excited i love national geographic they are just really really interesting magazines full of beautiful pictures photography and just interesting stories and obviously living in the czech republic is quite hard to find um english magazines so when i came across these it was really good and they were also only like um how much 20 crowns each so that's really exciting so i thought i can use these definitely for some art or just to read i don't know <laughs> so yeah national geographic and then the other thing i found was a collins world atlas so this is exciting because it was a little bit pricier but books generally do tend to be a little bit like towards 90 to like 100 crowns um, which is still really good for like a book and anyway it's in like really good condition so I have some art ideas actually that I want to use this atlas for and I also just find geography really interesting so and this like brought me right back to high school <laughs> so yeah hopefully in some videos to come I will be doing some little projects with these different materials and things that I found so I'm really excited to share all of that with you soon and in that video I will open these pencils and we'll see 
um, and what they're going to be like. I, I don't know. I have a feeling <laughs> they might not be the best quality, but we will see. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it was just nice to find some art supplies because sometimes you don't really find art supplies in these thrift stores because the ones in Prague are all quite small. But yeah, I was really excited to find all of these. So hopefully I'll get a video together soon doing something with all of these things. So I'm excited. So that concludes the video. Thank you so much for joining me here. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you again soon for another video.